These are the original maps um, that were the mission tourist maps. Always had an interest in history, World War II, obviously since my dad was in it. And he'd had a few stories over the years, had memorabilia that, you know, he would hang around his desk. And I'd ask him a few times, you know, what he did, and he'd kind of, oh, you know, nothing, not really anything. And then finally, in his mid-80s, which would have been about 15 years ago, he approached me and said, I'll sit down with you, I'll tell you what I can remember from World War II. So he grabbed the tape recorder and he got out a stack of maps that he had uh, carried with him through the war and laid them all out and he started kind of going along the routes that he already had marked on the maps telling me what he could recall. This is central Epinal, central France on the eastern side, uh, but it has the route they took through all the little towns. And it was after that that I went, this would be a pretty cool trip and it was after he had passed away 10 years ago. And so it kind of morphed from there into actually planning it and putting it all together. My sisters went with me as soon as they found out that I was going on this trip, they raised their hand and said, yep, we want to go too. So we stuffed five of us in a car and, and made the trip, spent about three weeks driving all the way up through France and then on into Germany. Got into Munich, so the war's over and this is Memorial Day, 1945. He would write letters home to his mom and his sister, but his mother saved all of the letters that he wrote home. Three weeks ago, during a trying part of this campaign, a Frenchman and his wife brought us a large platter of meat, a couple loaves of French bread, and a bottle of cognac. They landed August 15th of 44, and the war was over just shy of a year later in May of 45. So what took us three weeks took them about a year. 45th Division, 120th Combat Engineers, Company C, 2nd Platoon. The pillboxes are just concrete bunkers that are back in the hillside. And these are two of them that uh, they took out that night. Every week or every month, you have a clerk that sits down and types up everything that went on in that unit based on the reports that are given to them by the lieutenants and the captains and the majors. And it's basically a daily history of that unit. Having that in front of me, listing town by town, the information I got from my dad's maps and putting all of that together, I don't want to say it was easy to lay out the trip, but it gave you a, I mean, you, we followed the path exactly that my dad took. That's the road we ended up driving on through the farmer's field, which is the exact road that dad took. I mean, you, you don't get too much closer than that. Added some black and white photos that he had where you could hold the black and white photo up and then you take a new picture of it and it's exactly the same. What you have to do is you have to look through the bridge and that hillside there is that hillside there. He had a little spiral notebook. He would keep track, a daily log of what they did day to day. Very cryptic because he said, if I get captured, I don't want to have too much stuff in here. So on this particular December 5th, filled shell craters um, where they made a prefab bridge sweeping for mines, and then it would talk about how many mines they would take out. So that went through the war, and then in the back of the notebook, he would keep track of everybody that was in his unit, name, serial number, the rank, and then a few notations in here, whether they were WIA wounded in action or KIA killed in action. I carried his compass with me along with his dog tags. Um, kind of dad went with us. There were times it would just send shivers up your spine, recognizing that he was there with his unit. I mean, and you're, you're physically walking the same footsteps in many of the places that we went, but being able to go through and, and see all of that as you're reading through the unit history, looking at the maps, going up 
the road that they traveled. And that, that's, I think, what brought it home more than anything was having the map and being able to know we need to take a right here and you're following along the same footsteps. For the last 15 years, I'd kind of wanted to do it. And uh, then with my sisters going along, it, it kind of brought it all home. I just didn't want to get it lost to history.